After this happened, we adventure up the unknown remote side of the Bay of Conception with friends and end up finding the most beautiful oh beach we have ever seen. Wow. After Marie and I arrived in Mulahe, our goal was to find a one-of-a-kind destination to share with our friends Gabe, Adriana, and their son Josh, who only had about 10 days for this trip. Our plan was to skip the crowded beaches of Holy Week and embark on an overland adventure that ended on an incredible but uncrowded beach. In our early scouting, Marie and I ran into some trouble that disabled our Jeep completely. Then the idea of exploring the remote east side of Bahia Conception was born, and my friend Scott sent me some old articles about someone who had made the trip. Gabe and Fam went out of their way to bring us some temporary tires, and before long we were off the highway airing down. The adventure was on. The plan was to follow two previous explorers' directions across the bottom and up the east side of the Bay of Conception. Only one of them actually made it, so we had no idea what to expect. So we are traversing north up the east side of the Bay of Conception and I must say that uh, I don't know anybody that's seen this side of the bay and see the other side of the bay from this side. So far the road's been really good. We came across and then we ended up north and the views have been just incredible, haven't they? Muy hermosa vista. Todo el día ha sido espectacular. Oranges, reds, green, cactus and then obviously the blue water and the brown mountains in the distance at various heights. It's just incredible. This is really exciting. Uh, there's a couple canyons to explore right now. We're just trying to get to the north end of the island so we can um, find the good beach and know exactly what we're up against as far as all this driving goes today. And, uh, but uh, so far, so far so good. Looks fantastic. Yeah, and I forgot to mention, without our friends that are behind us there, Gabriel and uh, Adriana and their son Josh, we would not be on this trail. We'd still be stuck in our camp because uh, we had this tire situation where our two sidewalls were blown and they brought us some tires all the way down from uh, near Mexicali. So thank you, Gabriel and Adriana and Josh for going out of your way, getting Mexico drones back on the road. Excellent. Gracias, chicos. Check this before you take the port. All good, go right. Really tight through there. You might want to think about cutting over left instead of following me. I'm going to go through this last little section, scratching both sides up, and I'm going to check the beach.
ustedes. Made it. How long? <laughs> this is absolutely the most incredible <laughs> beach I think that Woo. I have ever seen. All and for it, ourselves in oh Semana Santa. Semana <laughs> Santa, <laughs> Bahia Concepcion. <laughs> oh, and it's actually incredible. <laughs> Look at this. I'm gonna go all the way around us so we can see everybody. East, wow. East Bahia Conception yeah. is absolutely. Incredible. Wow. <laughs> ¿Qué piensa? Oh, está hermosa esta playa. Oh, hermosa. Un verdadero paraíso para nosotras solitas. And they say the bottom of the Bay of Conception is paved with butter clams, or used to be. Well, the east side still is. So these are called chocolate clams. How do you identify that they're chocolate clams? And that means like because chocolate clams? Because it's orange color. What exactly do you have to do to prepare butter clams for making a gratin? Well, first we have to clean them, get all their, uh, the food that we're eating, get it out of their system and get all, just the the protein, okay. just the meaty parts. Okay. Uh, we, my wife is cutting it in pieces. Okay. We then uh, cut some regular vegetables, onion, tomatoes. Uh, what else? A little bit of chili, I guess. And then Gotta we cover it with uh, with uh, with cheese. Okay. The kind of cheese that will melt, and then we put this meaty stuff and with vegetables in each. In the shells? Uh, back in the shells. Back in the shells. Nice. And you cook it inside the shell. Oh, wow. And you put the cheese on top. Can't wait to see it. And then it melts and you just eat out, out of the shell. Can't wait! In the este, in the asador, ya nada más le pusimos limón, chile, y mantequilla. Wow! Excellent. So the next step is putting them in a shell with a little bit of butter, a little bit of mantequilla. And then they're getting dropped on the grill. All right, the moment of truth. A little limon, a little salsa. What do you think? Mm. Excellent. Amazing. Well done, chef. Hey, everybody. We're on the secret beach somewhere near Bahia Conception. And this is just the most incredible beach we've ever seen. It's Easter day, and look at the crowds behind us. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, look at all those people. 
It's just ridiculous. Oh, gosh. This place is incredible, and uh, we're so thankful to be here. It wasn't easy. We got a lot of scratches on our Jeep, so if you ever do get here, uh, you'll know you're getting close if the, both sides of your vehicle are completely scratched up. So, but it's worth it. Uh, they say there's no camping in Baja California South during uh, these two weeks, but I don't think they're gonna find us. And we are here, and nothing is impossible. In Espanola, more? Estamos aquí y nada es imposible. Viva la vida que es bella y es una. Wow. Walk with me. Let's leave the past behind. Walk with me There's something else We need to find Say you'll go Don't make me wait There's no need to hesitate Let's make footprints It's our last day at Playa Santo Domingo. Yeah. This is the last sunset. Beautiful. We're going to see here for a while. What do you guys it. think? Thanks for bringing us. Oh, thanks for bringing us. <laughs> <laughs> I think we couldn't have made it without you. Maybe you couldn't have made it without us, but we couldn't we have made it without each you. Other. They brought our tires. <laughs> We'd only have two tires. Uh, Except <laughs> for uh, traveling. What did you think about this in Spanish? Fue una experiencia hermosamente maravillosa estar aquí con Gabriel, Adriana, Joshua, Osita, Princesa, la pasamos increíble. Comimos, Comimos delicioso. La super chef, aunque no lo crean, Adriana preparó aquí en medio de la nada un delicioso menudo. Nada es complicado para ella y cocina excelentemente delicioso. Gracias, Adriana. Gracias, Gabriel. Oh, the clams already. Oh, the clams. No. We had some of the most incredible meals ever on the All most incredible beach ever. Yeah. And this is exactly pretty much what the crowds look like the whole trip during Easter weekend. This is what the crowd looked like on the beach. So I don't know if you can see all the people down there, but there aren't any. So really incredible experience. Um, I really don't know what else to say about it. It's a little dark right now uh, in the picture, in the video, but uh, I think uh, we could, we can, we can like do something crazy. What can we do in the video that would, that would just be kind of crazy? Like we'll all jump, in, so the water with jump a, in the water. Let's all go yeah. jump in the water. Yeah. 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 <laughs> If you enjoyed this trip, be sure to subscribe and come along next week for part two, where we cross this mountain to the other side of the peninsula for an adventure with wildlife, great fishing, and some ancient cave paintings.